Hi, my name is Jim Ciandella with Faltech. Today I'm going to walk you through the installation and use of the Faltech 7509 8 foot tripod kit. The tripod is designed with a 5,000 pounds tensile strength and is designed for use for personnel between 130 and 310 pounds and for material handling up to 620 pounds. The kit consists of a 60 foot material winch, a 60 foot SRO retrieval winch, and two mounting bracket assemblies. For first time assembly, you're going to want to go ahead and stand the tripod up and then extend out each leg independently until all three head assembly deep tent balls click into place here. When standing the tripod up, you will want to stand the tripod up near or over the confined space entry point. Then you have the storage transport pins that are in place here. Do one at a time. Go ahead and pull the pin out. Slide the telescoping leg up until you reach the first hole. Lock into place and repeat with each leg. The telescoping legs can adjust from 55 inches to 91 inches and adjust in increments of 6 inches to fit a variety of workspaces. The leg height may be adjusted to accommodate uneven surfaces or raised edges. Before attaching the entrant to the leg and connector, ensure the tripod is straight upright and the head assembly is level. You're going to go ahead and repeat that and keep adjusting until you reach the tripod height that you desire. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and move your chain to make sure it outlines your defined confined space. The eye bolts in the legs at the bottom allow the safety chain to connect the legs to prevent the tripod from moving under load for added safety. The feet are auto leveling and are equipped with a spiked edge for soft ground and rubber pads for hard surfaces. Attaching the bracket is a pretty straightforward process. You want to take your bracket components and I find it easiest to remove two of the bolts from one side of the bracket, one on the top, one on the bottom. That way you can take the bracket and actually insert it over the side of the tripod leg, down towards the bottom of the yellow and black caution tape, and then go ahead and take your bolt, attach that through the holes on each side of the bracket, and then come back with your washer and your nut and go ahead and attach your nut to the bolts With your bracket securely attached to each tripod leg, you're going to go ahead and take your winch. You're going to line up your mating slots on your winch bracket here and slide that down onto the pin at the bottom of the bracket. Then you're going to line up the holes on each bracket, take your detent pin, slide it through the holes, and secure it into place. You'll find the location of the crank on the winch on the outside of the tripod. This is important as it is outside of the triangle of the rescue area, leaving more working room. Again, make sure you line up the mating slots on your winch bracket. Secure onto the bottom pin of your bracket on your tripod leg. Slide it into place. Line up the holes on each bracket. Take your detent pin. Slide it through. Now it's secured in place and you're good to go. Now that the winches are attached, you're going to want to go ahead and take the cable from your rescue winch, just as we've already done with our personnel winch. Bring the cable up, take your snap hook, drop it down through the center of the tripod, and then take your cable, bring it up and underneath the pulley cover, drop the cable down into the pulley itself, and you're good to go. There are two pulleys at the top to provide smooth cable payout and retraction. Covers on top of the pulleys keep the cable from jumping out of the roller groove. Two eye bolts under the head assembly are for additional devices such as SRDs or a rope rescue system. So as you've seen, the 7509 tripod is a feature-rich tool for confined space applications. Thank you. <laughs>